we are here again on heavy rain. Uh, CPU versus Grubby. In the top, we have the yellow Protoss from Team Alien Invasion. It is CPU currently looking to you know, grab a second win and advance to the next round. And in the bottom, we have the green Protoss. It is Grubby. Worth noting that this is the winner's game. So yes. whoever wins this advances forward. The loser goes down into the decider match. And that's a tough spot, but it means that they do have a safety net. It's not all over, and there's still chance. In terms of builds, in terms of timings of this map, I don't know what to call because we've seen very aggressive plays in game one and two. Yes, you can absolutely go for proxy gates, and I would anticipate both players to vigorously scout out their bases before uh, you know doing anything uh, significant. Like you could proxy very well at the natural. Uh, they should take care of that, and well, so far Grubby just uh, cornering the crap out of his own nexus. The same goes for CPU. So, with these chrono boosts being spent on probes, it's not like they're saving it up for anything. It won't be things like a super quick 2-gate push or 3-gate push or something like that. Um, but still, they're just being actually surprisingly safe, both opening with those gateways nice and early. Yeah. CPU, uh, like I mentioned, being very careful uh, about scouting this time. Uh, Grubby, however, uh, living life on the edge, uh, will probably be scouting later or just not at all. Uh, opting to go for a more economic build. And, okay, he's adding on uh, double gas, double refinery, simulator at 15 supplies. So this, I think this is uh, a blink build, but I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> that's only because I've been practicing it a bit, a bit for, some, uh, for funds. Uh, but we'll see. This might actually be blink versus blink. Blink v Blink is possibly my favorite thing to watch in all of StarCraft 2. Yeah, and it's rare these days. It's the rare, Phoenix. but it's, it's so good. It comes purely down to micro skill. Like, Ling Baneling in ZVZ is quite similar, but it's so fast paced that a misclick can end everything. Whereas Blink on Blink, it's a bit slower paced, so every movement can be calculated. And it's just who can keep up and who has just a better micro overall. So we're calling it early. May not necessarily be that. There's yep. plenty of other things you can do, but Heavy Rain is a good map for Blink. Both players are uh, having a lot of options at this stage in the game. Summer Next Core hasn't finished for either of them, so they still have quite a bit of time to wait. Uh, no proxies. Uh, so this will probably be a very straight up tech from both players, like uh, Stargate, Blink, Robo. And it is the Stargate here from, uh, from CPU. And Grubby's weapon of choice will be Stargate as well. So that's also quite cool to watch. Will it be Phoenix? Will it be Oracles? We mm. saw Grubby in map 2 opt for the early Phoenix, which in a lot of ways, I prefer the Phoenix to the Oracles. It's slightly more risky. Yeah. Um, specifically if your opponent's going for a DT expand, which not so long ago was probably the standard way to open in PvP, <laughs> because you don't have any detection. But the Phoenix have a hell of a load more utility in the mid game to continue harassing, continue holding map control and just harassing your opponent. I wouldn't say you win the game when you get ahead on Phoenixes, but you kind of do. Um, and in this stage, CPU actually going for the Oracle first. Uh, this uh, Stargate actually finished uh, earlier as well. Probably got a scout off of that. And if you look carefully at the graphic of the Stargate, you can see that the Oracle is being built inside. So he should actually be able to see this and. You know, Lo and behold, scanning a phoenix. Grubby will now shut down that oracle. Assuming they're on the same paths, which they should roughly meet in the middle. Uh, it's going to be fairly close, but I think they will. Does he Just, notice it, though? Yep. Instantly. And that means that oracle should definitely die with a second phoenix now coming out. Um, yeah, the oracle is actually faster him. than a phoenix, but still. What was that? One, two worker kills? Two worker kills for an Oracle, not a good trade. No, he got one because one already died in the oh, main yep. of the CPU. But uh, yeah, this is looking like a three gate follow up from. Uh, oh, wait, he's actually going into Blink after this. Uh, same goes for Grubby, but Grubby's Twilight is significantly slower. Um, I think Blink as a follow up is actually really strong because, well, on paper, Blink Stalkers are good against Phoenixes. But the question is, how much damage will Grubby's Phoenixes be able to do? Will be able to snipe the Mothership Core? Uh, before any defense comes out, will they be able to get probes? Uh, that all should back. There is already the Photon Overcharge available. 113 energy on CPU's Mothership Core. He's got a couple of Stalkers out as well. So, 
there's not enough Phoenix to overpower CPU in this kind of early stage. Should buy him enough time to get Blink out, but things like expansions should be more difficult to open. In comes Grubby. Oh, I love this angle. Oh, actually, he doesn't do anything with it. He didn't even pick up a single probe. He, so was, just... he was worried about the Falcon Overcharge. Oh, he picks up the probe just uh, too late to deny the Nexus, and uh, he has built his own. Um, and it's actually not going for Ooh. Blink, but going into DTs. Yeah, this is nice. And the reason this is so solid is because he's seen the Chrono Boost on the Twilight Cancel. Knows Blink is coming. Knows that the Oracle is dead, and there's not a chance that another one's going to come out because Phoenix. Mm -hmm. So, where's the detection? There isn't any. And this could just flat up win for Grubby. Because even if the Blink Stalkers are attacking, some DTs can warp in. Aggressive DTs will shut down everything with no detection. This and is really good for Grubby. This looks really good because not only are his offensive options very strong, he can also just warp in DTs for defense. And of course, Blink Stalkers can blink around and go, you know, just try to be uh, as defensive as possible. But uh, I think the game will be decided quite rather quickly. Uh, Phoenix is already doing a lot of damage to the mineral line of, uh, of uh, CPU, picking off, what is it, eight probes. Uh, and this attack from CPU is pretty much going to be the, the game decider. And here come the DTs. The first two, T two DTs are warped in offensively. All the ones after that have to be defensive DTs. Um, Bobby Foden overcharges, buys himself a bit of time, slowly yeah, working through. He's sure. got to get some defensive DTs in soon. Uh, good thing for Grubby is he still has a second photo and overcharge. If he can muster forces to defend his Nexus, he'll be in such a good position, but never mind. DT is now wandering into the main line of CPU. Focusing the pylon, which may seem like a strange choice, but it depowers two of the gateways, hurting reinforcements. An Oracle frantically getting Chrono boosted, but Phoenix on their way to intercept. CPU pulling back, hoping he's going to be able to stop this. The second pylon being saved, because if that goes down, it's this not actually... Game. This, it, this yep, has deep house, to be game. Yep, Deep House is target. No Oracle. No detection. Uh, he, he cannot kill his opponent. There's still another photo and overcharge available. There are stalkers with Link. Um. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. I've been playing a lot of Hearthstone, so I've been getting a decent share of BM in a very different form. Uh, but this this is delightful. <laughs> Come on, it's... Yeah. It was the right response. This is brilliant play by Grubby. Identified precisely where his opponent was lacking. Um, CPU, I don't think he should have pulled the Stalkers back. He should have just gone for it once those DTs started attacking. Yeah. Um, because he's given Grubby ample amounts of time to get out a sizable force to defend with now. Grubby even getting an Immortal through, which should be out before these can do much. Beautiful force fields now. GG from CPU. And Grubby G -G. advances forward 2-1.